As a human being, he was exceptional. At least to me, it seemed then that way because he seemed without ego or insecurities. And hence, as a mentor, he was nurturing, exceptionally generous, and took great pride and joy in the achievements of the scores of young persons who passed through Kinsey Terrace. Despite his quiet and gentle nature, Dr. Tiruchalvam had no qualms about speaking truth to power without fear. Neelan was also a politician and a parliamentarian who truly believed that law could be an instrument of social change and development. Lisa Coyes has edited a collection of selected parliamentary speeches and you see the research and vision that he wished to pursue. He was the first parliamentarian to push for LGBT rights and equality during the debates on the criminal code. Neelan was first and foremost a peacemaker. He exhausted every angle possible to try and bring peace to Sri Lanka. He had intimate knowledge of global peace processes and strong friendships with peacemakers from around the world. It is this part of Neelan's legacy that the organizers want to highlight today on his 20th death anniversary. Though a defining figure in the field of law and the social sciences, Neelan introduced all his younger colleagues to the world of art and culture, to theatre, literature, music and dance. ICS has hosted film festivals, music festivals, sponsored dance performances and foregrounded art exhibitions. When Mr. Register Wardner was alive, it was a centre for discussions on national and global literature. Now the Neelan Thiruchalvam Trust continues that good work. לאן נוריד אותכם הנה? אנחנו לא רוצים אתכם פה. לאן נוריד אותכם הנה? עופו מפה. אנחנו לא רוצים אתכם פה. אנחנו לא רוצים אתכם פה. And then I looked into the eyes of the Palestinian mothers, and that's when I realized that we shared the same pain. And that's when I knew that if we stood together on a stage, and please, any mother in Sri Lanka, if you can find a way to do this, if we could stand on the same stage, a Palestinian and Israeli, and talk in the same voice, stop the violence, and to look for reconciliation, then surely that should be an example for anybody else. I'm not talking about forgiving. Please don't equate forgiving with reconciliation. It has nothing to do with that. Forgiving is a very personal journey, and you certainly cannot force anybody to forgive. That happens to be immoral. So don't do that ever, and don't expect people to forgive because you will hurt them. You will force them to shake hands, and they'll go away, and they will be absolutely distraught. <laughs> 